The future is now at OTC 2024, the only place where you can witness firsthand the groundbreaking technology that is reshaping the offshore energy industry. A breathtaking exhibit hall floor here at the NRG Center in Houston. Thousands of exhibitors making connections that matter. With the opportunity to showcase their products to world leaders and experts, it's no wonder that many of these exhibitors keep coming back year after year. We've had a great crowd, lots of folks coming through. Our booth is pretty interactive here, so it's been neat to have some good conversations with people. The business seems to be booming right now, so that's always good. We get to meet many of our uh, international customers and our domestic cu customers here. It's been great to get the opportunity to speak to people, to tell them about what we do, but also the importance of what we do offshore around attracting staff, because that's going to be the biggest challenge going forward for them. Each year at OTC, more than 1,200 companies from more than 100 countries showcase the technology that will shape the world moving forward. Speaking of the future, young professionals are also on hand here at OTC with a special all-day event that offers a platform for networking, knowledge exchange, and fostering collaboration between early career professionals that will one day lead the offshore energy sector. It's just really good to have like an introduction into the offshore industry for those who don't have much to it. Many of the people that come here, it's their first time at OTC. So it's a great way to meet people and to be introduced into a lot of the offshore technology. Events like this is where we can actually connect with other companies and other kind of parts of the industry and learn from them and, and create a network. Young professionals and industry veterans are both taking in the OTC technical poster sessions where leaders from around the world provide the latest information offshore technology. It is a great opportunity for me to present our work and what we have done in the field. With an event this big, OTC isn't done alone. In fact, it's a collaboration of 13 nonprofit organizations, all united in the global energy sector. So we ask them, why is this cause so important? So we have 13 different professional societies that are represented here. And so all of the proceeds from the conference go back to help those societies and provide education. And so it's very, very important for those professional societies to help further education and look at the next generation of people who are professionals in this industry. Being able to talk about the history, do some education and outreach, um, it's been very beneficial. It's always one of my favorite times of year to be part of OTC because you bring all these different facets of, of the business together um, to show how you can create value in this space. A hot topic each year at OTC is carbon capture utilization and storage, and that was the topic of a Wednesday session. Attendees learning about topics that are crucial for advancing low carbon solutions and achieving a sustainable future. There's a lot of interest, uh, a lot of folks uh, investing their time as well as the money in, in the space. And, uh, the more we learn about it, the more we share that knowledge uh, as OTC enables to do that. It's very helpful to the industry. We have to look into um, activities related to an energy transition, like the wind, wind power, like carbon capture, like hydrogen. Another hot spot on Wednesday was the Energy Transition Pavilion stage, where BMT gave an exciting presentation on the application of discrete event simulation. We basically break it down any any process into uh, three steps. It's the process or the objective you're trying to achieve, the resources you have to achieve it, and the environment in which you're trying to achieve it. So in other words, what are you trying to do, where are you trying to do it, and what resources do you have to do it with? Neighbors was at the Energy Transition Pavilion stage. Their talk focused on the global energy challenges and how the neighbors ecosystem is collaborating to scale up solutions. It's hard to change who we are today unless we collaborate, unless we try to really use what the energy industry of today has done to scale energy globally, to help scale some of these new technologies, right? From the education to the connections and the latest technology, be sure to mark your calendars to be at OTC every year. I'm Ed Highland, and we'll be sure to see you next year in Houston.